So first of all, mystery packs or repacks, no matter where they're coming from, eBay, Alpha Investments, Lean Heart, no matter where they're coming from, a mystery pack is a way to sell something that normally would not sell. And now we see that and whatnot. Now mystery packs are everywhere and whatnot. Uh, this particular seller, I see a 04. Uh, we'll see the reviews a little later where some people do call him out. He is selling mystery packs of Pokemon. There's 200 plus spots. You can see the piece of paper with the pink. Pink crossed out means somebody purchased those packs. So how do you sell 225 packs of absolute garbage? Well, what if one of the packs has an extremely valuable card in it? Has a card that would make the chase worth it? Yeah, that would be interesting. It would just be degen gambling, right? But at least then you could say, you know what, I'll buy a pack and maybe I get lucky. It's like buying a lottery ticket. But what if you never had a chance to hit that card that was advertised to you? Because that card was not in the initial 225 mystery packs. Now follow me on this one. I, I had to explain this kind of carefully because there are going to be people, especially in whatnot, given they pay all the YouTubers to sponsor them who are not going to like what I'm going to say next. We have one very valuable card. Okay. Let's call it a $5,000 card. We have 225 packs. The worst thing that can happen to us if somebody buys pack one and we pull that valuable card. Right, rest of the packs are basically dead and the auction system and the bidding and we wouldn't get very much money from this, okay? The best thing that can happen to us is that the card is hit in the last pack or one of the last packs in the bidding. So we need to sell a bunch. We have to somehow in assure that the card does not get hit. Because if it does get hit early, we are dead. We're going to lose money. If it, gets, if it does not get hit early and it gets hit late, we make a shit ton of money. So how do we make sure every single time the card is not hit early and is always hit late? And perhaps the person that hits it is our dear and good friend. Uh, you can read the reviews. This isn't the only time they've done this scam. And people didn't even know this is the only time. So it's one of the old adverbs. If you get caught, it doesn't mean it's the first time you stole or cheated or scammed. It just means the first time you got caught. You probably scammed dozens of times and not hundreds of times and not gotten caught. So these people have made a million dollar business and just scamming people. So the solution to this clever thing is what if we don't put the hit in the beginning? What if we sell 220 packs? You can see there's only a few white spots left. We only sell a few packs. And then we put the hit once we're done selling. There's only two packs left. We put the hit in one of the last two packs. So when people are buying, they're bidding it up. And it eventually does get hit, but we made a lot of money along the way because people assumed when they were buying a pack and it didn't hit that card, the odds improve, right? Oh, and now there's instead of 225 packs with one out of 225, my odds are now one out of 20 because 205 packs sold and without the getting the hit. Oh, I, I like my, let me buy it one. So somebody who normally wouldn't buy one is now buying one, thinking they have a 5% chance of hitting the card, when in fact the card is no, not in any of these packs yet. Even 1 out of 10, 1 out of 5. 1 out of 5, the bid is going to go tremendously up because you have a 20% chance of hitting the card. But guess what? The card is not in any of the packs. So here we see his girlfriend frantically searching for the to put the, the, the hit, it's a graded slab, into the pack that it's supposed to be in. Another scenario, what if we had a friend bid on things and he knew which packs had which slabs? So he could kind of mix it in and get all the big hits out early and then we'll put in the, the mega hit in the end. So in fact, 
we are literally giving people garbage because even the medium tier hits is just going to our good friend. Because we text him where the mystery, you know, it's not really a mystery when you're the one making the pack, right? And as long as you text your buddy, hey, your buddy's going to clean up real nice that day. And hey, you you sell a lot of packs and it'll seem like, oh, this guy's getting really lucky all the time. It's the same dude all the time. Mystery packs are a scam. Guys, they are a scam. Nobody sells a mystery pack without... If they could sell the cards in the mystery pack as an aggregate for more money than the mystery pack they would sell for, they would do that. Then they would be a legitimate store. Mystery packs are a way to encourage gambling among children, which is should be illegal. Mystery packs are a way to sell cards that are unwanted. So even if the card supposedly is a valuable card, the last time it sold was five years ago because no one cares about the card. Mystery packs are a way to offset liability. So you have a bunch of junk slabs that you graded and you feel kind of bad about. Well, you know, what if I make these things? And the mystery packs are a way that you can cheat your end customer. We see it time and time again on whatnot. And we saw it with this individual. I see a 404. I wish I could say that people are not trying to cheat you, but you guys know the community. You know the Magic community, the Pokemon community. You know the card game, sports card community. If there is a way to cheat somebody, they will do it. Uh, no matter how, you know, from selling fake cards and counterfeit cards to selling trim cards to selling fake slabs. They can even make fake slabs nowadays, right? Uh, if there is a way to take advantage of the community uh, they will find it trust me these people will find it they will find the weakness and they will exploit it a mystery pack is bad enough but when the mystery pack is saying that you're supposed to get this really mega hit and that mega hit was never available for the first 220 packs that's illegal that's fraud you should be sentenced to jail you misrepresented the product you were selling and you know what? What not should be responsible too. They're allowing this to happen without punishment. Clearly, the guy is still going to uh, do his shows. I mean, he did one like yesterday, right? Anyway, my guys. And he was caught way before. He was caught a few days before yesterday.